Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, I welcome you to this live stream Mass here in the chapel, St. Ursula's Chapel at the Archdiocese of Washington Pastoral Center. I offer this Mass for the intention of all of our brothers and sisters who are ill, especially those inflicted with this terrible virus. We also keep in mind all of those who are caring for them, our doctors, nurses, and emergency workers. This Mass is said for all of their intentions. Let us now call to mind our sins and ask our Father for his pardon and peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, eternal help of believers, hear our prayers for your servants who are sick. Grant them, we implore you, your merciful help, so that with their health restored, they may give you thanks in the midst of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate, and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits, and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand, and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again he measured off a thousand, and had me weighed, the water was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high, I had, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit, Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district, down upon the Arabah, and empties into the sea, the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the water flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever the water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord, Lord of, of hosts, hosts is, is with, with us. us. Our, our stronghold, stronghold is the God, is the God of, Jacob. of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength. 
and ever present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken, the mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord, the Lord of hosts is, is with, with us. us. Our a stronghold is the God, the God of Jacob. Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the bank of dawn. The Lord, Lord of hosts is, is with us. Our stronghold, stronghold is the God, God of Jacob. Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord, Lord of hosts, hosts is, is with us. us. Our stronghold, stronghold is the is God, God of Jacob. Of Jacob. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, at the Sheep Gate, a pool called in Hebrew, the Sela, with five porticos. And these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, Someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jew said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and is it not lawful for you to carry your mat? He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. During this critical time, I know many of our brothers and sisters are home with their families, their children, their loved ones, their grandparents. Uh, it's also maybe a time to reconnect with, with loved ones uh, or to heal those bonds that, that make us family. It's also a time to do spring cleaning, I'm sure. One of the terms I keep hearing through all of this is we need to do a deep cleaning a deep cleaning. Uh, here at the Pastoral Center, we deep clean the whole building, and I know many of our parishes and churches are doing the same. I guess this means just putting a little extra elbow grease into, into the, uh, the scrubbing of our, of, of, of our homes and, and our, our, the places where we dwell, the places also where we work. Uh, in a sense, I hear when Jesus comes to the man at the well of the Seda. Uh, he says, uh, he says uh, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be healed? In a sense, I think Jesus is saying to this man, as well as to us, uh, do you want to be deep clean? Deep clean. Uh, 
we, we sometimes look at this maybe on the surface and think, well, here's a man who has not walked, he's been lame for 38 years in the need of God's, of God's healing and mercy. And, and Jesus comes and asks him this question, which is quite obvious, quite obvious for the man. He said, of course, he wants to be healed. But I think Jesus is wanting to heal him in an even deeper way. He wants to provide that deeper cleaning, you might say. He wants to not only heal him physically, which is so important, but to also heal him spiritually. My brothers and sisters, this time of Lent is a time for us to deep clean our lives, our souls, our relationships. May we see this difficult time as we are challenged in our health, uh, as we are challenged in our, our work, and as, as well as providing you know, for our family, our security. Let us look at those things now and really a time for us to reevaluate what is so much important to us and that and what is critical, and that is the, the love of, of, our, of our family and our friends. It is also the love of our God, our God who we see in the first reading, uh, this, this flowing of the water from the temple. It's really a symbol of, of God's love and care for all of us, the mercy that he is showing us. God is with us now, even in these difficult times. He wants us to be healed, body, soul, and spirit. He's here to give us that deep clean. Let us now bring all of our needs and prayers together as we ask the Lord to hear our prayers. We pray for our Holy Father, our bishops, our priests, and all of God's good people, that they will continue to grow in his love and mercy, that they will be healed, body, soul, and spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our leaders, our, our president, our congress, and uh, our governors, all of those who are entrusted with the common good, that they will enact those laws for the betterment of, of uh, our world, our society, and our nation, that they will look out particularly for the vulnerable and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for... The, those who protect us, our, our uh, police officers, our, our fire persons, our, all of the emergency workers who are our truly essential personnel, those who are there to protect the common good in our society, may you keep them safe in their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our doctors and nurses and emergency technicians, uh, all our scientists and those who seek cures uh, and, and healing in this time of, of uh, crisis. May you give them strength and keep them healthy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering and those who are vulnerable, may God's love and mercy reach out to them and heal them body, soul, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, particularly those friends and relatives of our families, our loved ones, may God take them into his loving care, into his kingdom, and the promises that he offers all of us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, hear the needs of your children this day. We bring these to you with confident and loving hearts with true faith. Let us, we pray, to the Lord, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we may be by your word and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. sisters and brothers, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Since the moments of our life unfold, O God, according to your good pleasure, receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we implore your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are ill, that having been anxious for them in their danger, we may rejoice at their recovery of health through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name, in the name of, the of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
support of our human weakness. Show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick, that sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. May God the Father bless you. May God the Son heal you. May God the Holy Spirit enlighten your hearts. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.